Yes, greetings to everyone. Everyone, I mean everyone who is watching. If you're not watching, how can I tell you greeting? So all those who watch you, <laughs> greeting to you. You know, today I'm going to make a video, right? I'm going to make a, a food punch. Food punch with love. I'm preaching today, right? That's a food punch. But before I make this food punch, now this video, bear with me, right? It will be about 11 minutes long, which I don't normally make long videos so anymore for a long time because of my skills of editing and, and the way I do things, right? I don't make long videos, you know? But I'm coming up with this idea, which from the beginning I said, right? That I'm going to create my videos and my content in a very different way. You know, that's something that I come up with. It's my own idea, it's my own creativity, it's my vibes, you know what I mean? So, I will talk about food, sir. You see, now, I'm, if you really pay attention to what I'm doing, right? Now, these foods there, right? And these red bag, I have froze down these foods there from over one year ago. Now, every summer, I really go around and look for foods like the really good foods, you know. And I'm very, very in love with mango, right? And then Sharon. Now, I've been living in this country for a very long time. And I used to always look at this thing, Sharon. But I never knew what type of food it was. So I never tried. But when I created this channel, and I decide to make food punch. I say, you know something, let me experiment. Whatever the food is, I'm gonna try it, right? So, after five years as a content provider, I don't think there is not a food that I did not try. Now, I always said too that if there is a food I don't know about and someone tell me, wow, I will try it because it's a food, right? It's not all food that I love, but I will eat all food. <laughs> I swear. You know, I mean, there's some funny food, right, that I tried in life before, but I eat it. I will try it. There's a lot of food I will never try, but a fruit, I will try. Any food, what is a fruit, I will try it. You know? So, why I said I'm going to talk about food? I discover something with we the people. We give up foods. For what? For bottled drinks. You know what I'm saying? Now, when we were younger, right? No, I'm saying me. I don't know for who else. When we were younger, my generation, we used to eat food every day. Am I lying, my dear people? You know what I mean every day. Because there was not one fruit. There was so many fruit. And mango is one of the fruit that you could almost get the most species of mango. There is all type of mango. I eat mango in my life before. I don't even know the name of them. You know, we even give them name. The bus stop, you know. Because, you know, there's a mango at the bus stop, you know where we used to sit, but we didn't know the name of the mango, so we used to say, let's go and eat some bus stop, let's go for some bus stop. So that is how we used to name mango. But what I used to love about this, when we were younger, how much money did we have? No. So we used to use foods as our dessert. We used to eat food at nights. We used to go to foods at nights. We used to eat foods. All different hours we used to eat food. But today, as I said, look, we give up fruits. And what we do, what, what do we what do we do? You know what I mean? No, we had skin up. We had shiny plum. We had governor plum. We had normal plum. We had kid. We had golden apple. We had sugar apple. We had mommy apple. We had you know, help me, help me, man. We had we had we had plum city. We had um, we had um governor plum. Skin up. Did I say skin up? Then we had Shebef. Um, um, what is this Shebef? Yeah. I mean, we had 
Oh, we are stinking too. You understand? We had all type of fruits. You understand? We had uh, cashew too. Cashew, kushu. I mean, whatever the fruit is, we used to eat it. And there was some very, very, very sweet fruit. Now here, let me explain something to you now. A commentary thing. I grew up with my grandfather. And here it is. My grandfather, when I when I was born, he had everything there already. So I born into that. You know? I mean, we used to eat so much of fruits that sometimes you can say, hey, yo, when we go home at night or for lunch, we couldn't eat the food. Because we eat so many food during the day. You know, that we could not eat the food, the food that was given to us by our parents. So, my dear people, I'm asking you, why it is that you people refuse to plant fruits? And another thing, why it is that you people cut down a fruit tree? I'll tell you a story about a foolish person who I know in this country here. He had a, 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 a plum tree, one of the sweetest plum I eat in Sweden. The sweetest plum. That individual, you know what he did? He cut it down because he wanted to put some chairs to sit down below there. So they cut the tree down. They want to put some chairs where they could sit down and drink around, man. <laughs> so then I'm trying to tell you, we people, but I see they do that in the Caribbean too. <clears throat> they cut down the fruit trees to do what? To plant a house, a big house. You know, they cut down the trees. I remember when we were growing up, there were so many mango trees. All type of, you know, fruits all over the place. Today, the people choose to cut them down. And not only that, they sell the land to people who don't give a damn shit about fruits. And, 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 and you know, I, I, I tell you another thing, my dear people. If I planting fruits or garden and I'm going to sell my fruits and my, my my potato and thing, I will never put the price down. I will always put it up. And if anyone asks me for a special price unless it's the poor man unless it's someone who is in love with the garden and the fruits then I could give you a special price. But not you people who go to the store and buy a jacket for a thousand crowns. I mean a thousand EC and thousand US and all that kind of thing. Yeah? Or you go and buy shoes, or you never, as a matter of fact, you can ask them a special price. Because when they put the price and they see that special price, they stand. You gotta forget it. But you people pay for this thing through your nose without no problem. And then you want to come to the farmer now and complain. You know? Or you complaining, or you want special price, it's too expensive. Why not go to the store and tell the man the shoes too expensive, or the jacket too expensive, or the shirt too expensive? Yeah? or the underwear too expensive or the socks too expensive or you don't complain about that 